Hello Virgos, welcome to May. May it find you well. <laughs> and anybody that's cross watching, um, again, as I like to iterate, or as I need to reiterate, right, because I'm sure not everybody watches um, all the zodiac signs, but this can be for the sun, the moon, or the rising of the sign of Virgo. So, and anybody that is cross-watching for a Virgo that they may be interested in, that they may be doing business with, anybody that is in your family or your friends, if you care that much <laughs> to know what they may be going through so that you know how to assist them, this is for you. What is going on, Virgos? What is going on? You know what's really nice? Virgos are really analytical. And I'm not seeing that you're in your head too much this month. As earthy as you guys are, because you are an earth sign, as stable as you guys are, you usually take on the suit of swords in the way that you go about life. Like you're super analytical. It's like you have to know the ins and outs of the things that you want to take on in life before you make a decision to move forward. You guys are very slow moving in that regard, um, or at least the, the Virgos that I know, right? It's like you guys always take your time because you really, you kind of plan out everything in life, but I'm not seeing that this month. I see you take on a different energy, which is very refreshing. Um, you're out of your head and more into your heart this month out of your you're not really looking with your eyes but with your eye this month you're using your intuition to guide you um, into the things that will add to your emotional well-being um, and overall happiness so with the first row what came out was the judgment card the high priestess and the Ace of Swords. Second row is the Knight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Third row is the King of Cups, the Temperance card, and the Nine of Swords with the Two of Cups that just wanted to pop out like it had to. It had to pop out. But you see what I'm saying with these cards? It's a lot of, uh, of emotional energy that's coming through. You are you're getting in tune with your emotions. Anything that may have been repressed um, in prior months this year, as well as anything that may have happened in your childhood, you are allowing that to come up to the surface and come through this month. You're going to deal with things that you have not maybe brought up fully to your conscious you're just going to be able to sit with how you feel how things have made you feel um i'm seeing this five of pentacles which is a card of abandonment if anybody has abandoned you in the past you're going to reflect upon um, the ways that that affected you, especially if you were a young child, um, say like your father or your mother left you when you were young, you're really going to be doing some self-reflection on that and how that affects you and that and how, and how that affects your other personal relationships, how you let that bleed into the way you socially relate with other people the way you emotionally connect with other people. I see you in the month of May being able to be psychically attuned to others' emotions. Um, I'm seeing, and Leo's had this card, the card of judgment. I'm not seeing any signs of fire, but again, I don't like to attribute specific cards to um, zodiac signs. I would say check out the Leo reading. If you have Leo in your chart, um, definitely check out that reading. But if there's somebody that is coming back from the past, this is someone that you know you want to be with 
or you may be thinking about somebody from the past that you want to be with and you're going to take that opportunity in the month of May or they will in reaching out to you um, about why they had to walk away from the situation. They're going to tell you the truth about why they had to walk away from a situation or you're going to um, approach them and let them know that they are someone that you want to be with, someone that you see yourself spending the rest of your life with. Um, you're going to tell that to them and you're not going to be afraid to express that because you know these opportunities don't come around often. There is no longer that fear of abandonment because you know you've done the work and you are um, at peace with yourself. You know that you are one with yourself. You know that you can emotionally handle anything that may come to pass. You also know that you have done a lot of growing as far as your emotions are concerned. You're very open. You are more compassionate. You are um, and have that air of unconditional love about you or the person that you want to be with. You understand that they have these qualities. Um, you, you see now that they really bring you balance, that they do give you a peace of mind. And I also want to say, because I don't read linearly, I don't just go from like top to bottom or in a straight line. Um, they give you a peace of mind. You very well could be telling them or giving them a piece of your mind, but there is no harshness in this reading. I don't feel that. And um, in the Mythic Tarot deck, Iris or Iris, I don't know how to pronounce her name, and I forget his name, Zephyr, Zet, something. He's like the West Wind, which is a harsh wind. This can be harsh truths, but again, we already went through that with as far as somebody maybe expressing the honest truth about what happened in the past and why they had to walk away but anyway as i was saying they're married they're a couple so you have met your match or you will meet your match and you're going to go forward in pursuing them you may um, have a little hiccup in the month of may as far as not knowing how you want to express it Express that you're interested in them, expressing that you see a future with them, expressing that you're in love with them. Maybe you haven't been good with saying that in the past. And so there's a little like, there's a little bit of fear with telling someone. Of course, if it's the first time, you don't know if it's going to be well received. But from what I'm seeing, it will be well received. Um, so you, you may hesitate in presenting that offer but it's um it's all in the mind so once you understand that you just have to get out of your head and just go for it you will do that and you will see success and there will be passion and there will be um growth you will take that next step in your relationship you can start building towards something that can stand the test of time as far as work is concerned you're done with dead-end jobs right you know to some degree whether you've really brought that up from your subconscious into your conscious mind and have really dealt with um, what you know will satisfy you emotionally as far as a job or you know the dream job that you need you know what you need <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say to some degree in some way you already know within you what you need that will fulfill you and you're going to have an opportunity to move on that as far as um, the way in which you apply for jobs being more specific with the keywords that you use like if you know you love um, traveling you're gonna put travel in the keywords if you know you would rather work from home because you need a flexible work schedule in the keywords you're gonna put work from home and see what jobs come up and you're going to find the job that's going to be really emotionally fulfilling for you where you're not having to live paycheck to paycheck where you have to barely survive um, you're you're done with those types of jobs so you're going to either hear news about a job that will be fulfilling that you've been waiting on and that you know um, is really 
I want to say down your alley. <laughs> so if we're going to go with that. That is really down your alley. It's really something that you would fare well in doing. Or you're going to find it this month in your job searching. And then you're going to decide to leave a job that has not been fulfilling for you. You're going to leave a job that really had no room for growth. Like you've been in the same position for a while. Five months, five years. You know, it, they're, they're just just didn't work out and you're going to be honest about that as long as you give them your two weeks as long as you you leave on good terms everything will be well um they're going to have to understand and even if they don't it's really not up for them to understand because this is your life at the end of the day so if you're waiting on that job offer or you're applying for jobs just understand it's going to take some patience before you hear back from anyone I would say it could be nine days, it could be nine weeks before you start your next job, um, your next business venture. There's going to be a little bit of a delay. So as long as you have self-control and you don't get in your head and think, oh, um, I'm not going to get this, it wasn't meant for me, then you will be fine in the month of May. Don't self-sabotage. <laughs> I don't see that card, but I just feel compelled to tell you not to self-sabotage in that way. Um, I say this all the time. What you want definitely wants you. So just move like you already have that job, even if you've been waiting for a while to hear from them. If you've been waiting nine weeks, if you've possibly been out of work for nine months, um, don't start getting in your head about it now. But you've definitely had to hit rock bottom. Okay before you could start anew. So if it's been bad, it's as bad as it's going to get. There is a breakthrough on the way for you if you so believe it. So that is what I've picked up for you guys energetically. If this resonated, do give me a thumbs up. Do share this with your friends and family and subscribe for more videos. I will talk to you guys soon.